Hey guys, so this is a reading for... Oh fuck, you've got the wrong outfit on. Bollocks. Now your secret is out. Double bollocks. Cut. Fuck my life. <laughs> Gemini, 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 how are you? Yay! So it's your 2024, Gemini. Um, so don't forget we are in competition with other star signs. If star signs don't do very well... They go to Patreon only, and I don't do the free ones over on YouTube because I have another job and I have to pick which ones that do well. And so, so what helps that out is by smashing that like button and comments. And if we can get uh, 150 comments, okay, and 400 likes, I mean, it, it's difficult. I know it, it, it's 30 seconds out of one's life. I, <laughs> I mean, do you know what I'm saying? Pretty like sex, really, but uh, it could be a problem coming up in your reading. But 150 um, comments and 400 likes, and let's put you to the test, Gemini, and see if you are capable of taking 30 seconds out of your life in order to do so. 30 seconds to Mars. Could have Gemini like myself in Mars. Okay, so let's see. Um, Gemini. Gemini, what have they got coming up for 2024? Don't forget you're in competition. If you don't do anything else, someone else will do it. No, okay. We need those likes and comments to keep this channel going, guys. So let's see. Um, Gemini, what's going on with Gemini for 2024? There's a problem. I think it could be the bedroom department. Something to do with around sex, maybe, or like baby that there's a... Okay, there's a baby... So this baby keeps coming up where someone might be pregnant or getting pregnant or is pregnant or about to give birth. I'm also hearing Bertha or Slender, the Slender Man. Um, anybody's got S in their name, but like, unless you're called Slender um, or Brenda, but baby, there's a baby. Somebody's pregnant or could be this year. <laughs> So don't forget to put a cap on it. So you might be dealing with a Capricorn. That could be a Gemini, though, because I deal in numerology, which is sixes. But I'm not going over that anymore. Uh, if you're new, you'll have to catch up with other readings and know what I'm talking about. Numerology to star signs that represent a major arcana of six. So life path six as well. So Gemini. What's going on for Gemini for 2024, Gemini? So let's see, Gemini, money, 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 four of wands and the ten of pentacles. So somebody who lives in a house like this, so it could be Lulu, but somebody lives in a very nice house. Okay, they have quite a lot of money, Jenny. Okay, now they might live with parents or you are married, but you've got like a very nice house. This is sort of like financial freedom. So it basically means that the ma the mortgage could be paid off of the four of wands and the rent is very little because it's paid off. Like everything is paid off. This isn't a flat. This is actually a house. Okay. There's a marriage on the cards. If you guys are getting married or Maria um, or Melissa, but someone's got like a really nice house. Could be Scorpio Aries placement or a place or a fish. But we are dealing with also Capricorn, don't forget, because they're a six. But somebody here has a really nice house. Their mortgage is more than likely paid off. There's a lot of financial freedom and being free to be able to do what I want. There's sort of like a retirement as well, like I'm considering or I am retired. If somebody is retired and they're not watching this, then there's someone that lives with this person that is retired. So it's a nice house because it's, I don't believe there's one person living in this four of wands. Okay, so financial freedom, which is a very good start, Gemini. So let's see, Gemini for 2024. Um, Knight of Cups. Now, this could be the person that you've met or that you meet or have done or you're eating meat. Some of you could be on a carnivore diet like myself. I've lost quite a bit of weight. Um, but Knight of Cups, this could be a new person. Like I said, there's not just one person living at this Four of Wands. There's a child that is also here as well. So it could be a child that's living at this Four of Wands or your kids haven't left home or they you all live as a family network and a family group. Some of you could have well just met 
or about to meet someone new, Knight of Cups here, if you're not about to meet someone new and you are in a relationship and I'm hearing not, that is my Pisces swinging on a tree card. So there could be a Piscean here somewhere. Uh, let's see, Gemini for 2024. Oh dear, someone's not happy that you're happy, Gemini. You got life path five, maybe Sagittarius, Taurus. If you're dealing with one that is a very quick, sharp temper. I'm also hearing sharp and Melissa. I know a Melissa sharp. So Melissa, Maria, anybody's got M in their name? Okay, or E, Emily, Melissa, Maria, Michael Jackson, all those. Uh, but someone's got, like, I don't know, plays mind games, is always bickering, or Rebecca is always fighting, and it's draining, and it's tiring. Someone's retired, and they're just bored and fed up and at home, and they look at their children for some sort of support of, like, Okay, I'm retired, I'm at home, I'm at home on my own, and my child is the only one that I have, so I look for my child for my source of entertainment. But if my child is Robbie Entertainment, then they're not entertaining you. So it's like, I'll start a fight because they're not entertaining me. <laughs> Which means that they try to avoid this Five of Wands and the Five of Swords try to go around it. Now, there could be, like I have, which is ADHD, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You could be dealing with like a Virgo maybe, but um, this is ADHD here, attention deficit disorder. If you've got someone that has ADHD and you're with someone that is always fighting, they're always fighting the person that has mental health. So it comes across as, as aggravating the person that has ADHD, blaming them for being mentally ill. Okay, can be, because it's kind of like you've got a mental illness, there's things going wrong in our relationship, and it's you. And it's like, no, it's I have mental illness. <clears throat> I had a fucking panic attack last night, Gemini. What did I say? My readings do come true. I was doing readings yesterday, and I was saying uh, anxious uh, in Aquarius reading, where I said that there's panic attacks and anxiety, and what do you know? One o'clock this morning, I wake up full of panic straight away, like not not anxiety, straight zero panic. <laughs> and I was I was had to spend uh, a couple of hours. Well, I didn't sleep. I've been awake since one o'clock this morning. Um, but yeah, so ADHD, okay, panic disorder maybe. Laura, Lucy, Lucifer, maybe a Capricorn, uh, Gemini. What's going on with Gemini for twenty twenty four? Who, any, anyone else out there suffer through anxiety disorder, panic attack disorder? I know how to get rid of them, okay, but it is a process. Um, King of, no, you can't cure panic attacks. You can't get rid of them fully, but you can learn to deal with it and, and uh, dissipate the panic quite quickly than what it would normally be when you're panicking because you're panicking. <laughs> That's the worst thing you can do is panic because you're panicking. Okay, but anyway, so King of Cups, there is a love life. There is a commitment here. There is definitely someone new, Def, Steph, Jeff, Steve. There is someone new here if you are like, oh, I've just found someone new. There's the Knight of Cups. But for some reason, the Five of Swords is getting a mighty pissed off with this Knight of Cups. This is like jealousy or so. This is like resentment. This Five of Swords is looking at this Four of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, that someone that can take it easy, they don't have too much stress going on in their life. They may be a child that has, like, quite well-off parents or something like that, or they own this house, they could be older. This person here is looking at this person here and resenting what it is that why this person gets it much more easier than the other person. So they resent this person for having money, for having success, for being comfortably numb, but for being comfortable. Okay, so it's a little bit like a hater or Denise, okay, or Dan, but somebody, if you're in a commitment, your person resents you for being able to basically put up your feet and not have to do much here, here. Because this is kind of like things that are paid off and things that are not. And because you've got it easy, I'm going to kind of like hold you, like resent you for having all of that. 
That's in a commitment and a relationship. Now, for some of you, you definitely have beef within the family, but who doesn't? Some of you are eating minced beef or brisket or beef, okay? So I'm really picking up, like, big carnivore energy here. Um, six of Wands is definitely, you see, it's also someone that seeks attention from someone that may have attention deficit. And why do you not give me attention because I'm trying to seek your attention, but you're not paying me any attention? And that's why they get in arguments, because one has ADHD and the other one has attention seeking. They seek for approval and attention of the person that has ADHD and then blames them for not paying attention. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? It's like a, it's an opposite but the same kind of energy. A person that refuses to give the other person any attention, but the reason they don't is because they have ADHD. <clears throat> but the person that's trying to seek the attention of the person that has ADHD, this is a bit like a Jekyll and Hyde energy. It's... I can only give you attention when I'm okay, when I'm mentally, physically unable to be able to give you attention, I will do. But I have to do it in my own time. I have to wait until I'm having like a, you know, one moment in time. <laughs> Let's see, Gemini. What's going on with Gemini for 2024? Gemini. Oh, dear, you see, the page of one's now in reverse turns into a child because and starts ignoring the person. Oh, <laughs> I can kind of see it. How do I explain it? The person that has ADHD focuses on themselves. They focus on themselves, and that's how they get through life and daily life is they focus on whatever it is that draws their focus, their attention, right? The other person seeks their attention in the most childish possible manner. It could be Leo Aries, Leo, Sagittarian, but they seek for the attention of the other one and is a huge attention seeker. When they don't get what they want, this is much of a, huh, okay, I'm not going to speak to you, but this in reverse is worse. So they kind of play games. They'll stop speaking to you. They will kind of like treat you as if you're a child, okay, make you, make you go down to their level of being a child. Okay, this is an ongoing yearly thing. Now, if you have or someone has met a new person, there's two people here. One of them is a friend and the other one is a foe. So I really don't know whether I'm in a commitment or not, but I do know that I don't want a commitment with one of these nights. Because one of these nights is Paul McCartney. <laughs> no more lonely nights. But uh, is a is a a friend. Okay, they're just a friend. That's it. Okay. So you got family coming at you, left, right, and centre. You got a very childish uh, relationship for a lot of you, possibly. If your relationship is not childish in any formal manner whatsoever, because this could be a life path five, Sagittarius. This could be having Sagittarius in one's chart. Starts getting really annoyed, starts blaming and shouting at somebody because they lose their temper at someone that has ADHD for not paying attention. So they bully the person with mental health. How does that make that person feel? For doing it. Any good? <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then you do have this possible new person here that's more like Prince Charming that comes along and sweeps someone off their feet. Makes them possibly consider not being with this person. Could be Libra. Let's see. Now, some of you are married, committed, but you've got children or a child. And this child is not yet been born. They have one child together, more than likely, and there's the one child, and they're trying to cope with the one kid. But the second kid that's on its way is in reverse and actually hasn't been 
dropped yet, hasn't been born. <clears throat> the penny also hasn't dropped, which means that this person also hasn't dumped someone yet. They still are communicating with someone and they haven't finished a commitment with somebody yet. Now, I'm definitely picking up that this child that is going to be present during this year actually isn't here yet. It's waiting to be screwed out and pushed out through the pipes. Let's see, Gemini for 2024. Four of Pentacles. Oh, dear. Thieves, fours, and fives, what he's been teaching everybody for ages. If anybody's got Scorpio in their chart against anybody that has Sagittarius, Taurus, or Life Path 5 in their chart, y'all going to clash like the Titans here. Okay. You could be a Life Path 5, and this person here could have Scorpio Rising, or Scorpio and Venus, or Scorpio Moon, maybe Aries. Uh, Aries placements, Scorpio placements, a life path four and a life path five, okay. Scorpio moon, Sagittarius sun sign, right? Y'all going to really... <laughs> this, well, this. You'll stop speaking to each other. You blank each other. You just cannot seem to get on the same page through condition of belief. One believes that things should go one way. The other person believes in another thing. One person looks that way. This person looks this way. Okay. This person tries to get the attention of a person that has ADHD, tries to start an argument over that and gets blocked and gets told that they're a stubborn, arrogant prick for not paying attention and then also for blocking the other person and not listening to what they're saying that's adhd you're not listening to what i'm saying you're not paying attention you don't stay around long enough you walk off you lose attention when i'm trying to talk to you and you seem to be looking at the floor or the wall and you don't seem to pay any attention to me when it's my turn to speak why is that the person has adhd now if there isn't adhd because you haven't been tested yet get tested okay if you've been tested if you've not been tested or you've been tested and there is no adhd here then there's fours and fives which is going to cause a hell of a lot of conflict and this is going to be going on well for the rest of your life and also throughout the year okay so there you go gemini that is what i've got for you guys please make sure you watch the beginning it's very important about the 150 likes and 400 comments uh, uh sorry 150 comments, 400 likes. If you guys can do that for me, I'll do you another video after the yearlies or be the monthlies and the weeklies. If you don't and no one's watching and no one's interested, then I'll do other star signs like Capricorn and whatnot and Aquarian and so on and so forth that's doing it. So if you want to keep your star sign alive, like and comment, okay? If you want to watch the rest of your reading, you will need the silver or gold tier over on Patreon, but don't forget... I am not doing them all, okay? There are other star signs where I'm not being able to do them all, so the yearlies and whatnot are over on Patreon, okay? So far, it's Aries and Taurus, okay? And then the others that I did was Capricorn, Pisces, uh, Aquarius. They've been done on YouTube and Patreon, but just the Patreon ones so far are Taurus and Aries. And then you're going to have the rest of this one as well, but if you want to join in, then uh, the silver tier or gold tier below, or you can join the join button where you get a load of other stuff. And it's cheap. Okay, so thanks very much, guys. Really do appreciate your time, and I will see you soon.